Hi, my name is Dre Pittman. Um, I'm the owner of NSU Cleaning, soon to become Clean Incorporated. Um, I started doing janitorial work um, about three years ago. Uh, two years ago, I said that I was going to set out to be a contractor and have done everything I can to take a, advantage of every construction program, uh, training course uh, offered in Los Angeles. Um, I received my Buildings and Grounds certification through East LA Skills Center um, in East LA. Um, I also got my OSHA 10 lead and abatement through uh, uh, Urban League in Los Angeles on Crenshaw um, in Lamert Park. Um, I have since then become a student of the California State License Board. I started doing business to business in 2018. Um, where I originally started off doing residential cleaning. I'm now doing commercial cleaning and have been contracted for residential post-construction cleaning. Um, my goal is to not only give you a true and genuine experience as to what it is for someone such as myself to start their own business, but to give you insight and um, uh, demonstration as to what it is that I plan to do or at what I'm doing to fulfill my goal and my mission as uh, as an individual since I started uh, chasing this dream and becoming a part of this journey. Um, today is November 8th, 2020. I am currently working in a CSL in the city of Rialto, California. Throughout my videos um, in my earlier beginning, uh, going back into my beginning stages, a lot of things that I was demonstrating and explaining to you guys were some of the mistakes and some of the learning curves that I was going through. Um, such as with pay, pay, payroll and getting a bank account and finding out if I should go so proprietor. That may or may not have been one of my videos. Um, I also have gotten more experience in my videos and my tips and tutorials and showing you uh, ways of cleaning, strategies of cleaning, some of the tips, uh, tools, and equipment that you would need to uh, perform cleaning services. Um, I also um, talk about bidding um, and if you want to get into bidding and teaching you different ways on how you can go about bidding. Um, that strategy has also changed now that I am uh, a certified, uh, am a student of the California State Contractors License. Um, so therefore my tips and tutorials and advice on that will also be giving you more efficient guidance on that. So therefore you are not underbidding yourself and that you know exactly how to bid versus setting a price for direct costs and um, labor and materials. You want to do it by the state um, versus just fair pricing, which is what I was doing before. So fair pricing. Now I get to teach you how to do it by according to state law and how to stay um, within those laws and make sure that you're staying within a profitable way to make money in your business. Um, the reason why I'm making this video is because I got a question about what it is that I'm doing here, how do I profit, and what it is that I do when I come across problems on a job. So um, I am working at a CSL in Riverside. This property has to be somewhere, I want to guess about 3,400 square feet. Um, when I got contracted for this job, I was contracted for two locations, one in the city of Riverside and one in the city of Rialto. Um, I had a staff of four people when I originally started. Now, when it comes to contracting, you're going to want to get used to the fact that you'll be set up on a net basis. Some companies will allow you to get your check right away, depending on whether you're on a master service agreement or if you sign some type of cleaning contract with them or if they're hiring you on a one time basis. In this case, I did not sign a master service agreement. I was hired to perform this service, a post-construction clean, and it was on a 30-day notice. It was on a 30-day net. A lot of employees and a lot of people that come on to work with NSU, um, soon to become Clean Incorporated, has um, had to get used to the idea of waiting for a contract basis on getting on a net basis. Um, now, I'm going to give you two different topics and two, diff two different reasons why I'm explaining it to you like this. One, I'm explaining it to you because of, you can understand my situation and you can understand my growth. You can understand where it is that I'm coming from and where I'm going. The second reason why I'm going to explain it to you like this is so therefore you know that when I, bring, when I invite you to the idea of coming into this industry, you know exactly what to expect. Um, as a business owner or as someone that does this on the side. If you're working with somebody that can pay you out cash out of their pocket because they're rolling like that, by all means, go ahead and go for it. My point and my mission is to make sure that I not only show you what it is 
that it is for someone like myself to build from the ground up, but to also show you that everything that I can give you as someone that's interested in taking on these opportunities the way that I do, um, then I want you to know everything that there is to come that about be about it, what the benefits are, what the profits can be, what hard work is gonna take, and everyone is equipped different with a different deck of cards. So the way you play the game may be different than the way that I will, and I bid you a good hand. Now, back to what I was saying. 3,400 square feet, I was given two locations. Each location was just under four grand. I got $3,800 for one location. I got $3,900 for the other one. My direct costs are going to come out to about four grand. It's going to come out to about three and a half grand because of the overtime that was put in. Now, back to what I was originally going to say. Most of the individuals that have come on to me and to work with these projects are skilled and unskilled. They're more like hardworking and unskilled individuals. So when it comes down to getting a project done on time, it's gonna go into your costs a little bit differently, which is the headache and not the headache, but that's the beauty and what it is that I get to do. I get to invite a thousand people or more or whatever it is that my mission includes and whatever God says he wants me to do. So. My mission is to make sure that I take individuals that have no skill or have no career or have no interest in understanding how beneficial it is to be an independent contractor or how beneficial it is to have your own business. So I take on people just as myself who had no courage, was fine with working nine to fives, working in 40, 50 hours and then spending their check on whatever it was and then hoping that they can save up enough money or get enough money to actually go out onto their own and continue to live a life. I wanna turn that whole concept around because it's done the same thing for me. We're working for NSU, soon to be Come Clean Incorporated, has changed my life. And every single day I get to put forth an effort of uh, changing someone else's in in perception on starting their own business in this company. So, again, back to the subject. Two different locations, 3800 3900 So now we're at $7,700 $7, I got paid for both of these locations. Um, due to the overtime, direct cost and material and labor, transportation, and uh, payouts, I'm roughly going to be looking at about four grand, about three and a half thousand, three and a half thousand dollars out of a seventy-seven hundred dollar job. So the benefits in it is the fact that not only do we get to get experience, but we get to understand that the profit is there it can be there the job is there but the training also is uh is provided in this case so and the fact that the job was done and with the three individuals i had working with me um it was not done to the standards that most commercial corporations would want their work to be done but i get to come in i get to come and fix the errors i get to make sure that my guys do get that experience no matter what um so i push the pin behind that and say um, you hire me, you hire a good group of people that are going to get the job done. They're going to work their bumps off and we're going to make sure that you have a quality work at the end of the day. So, like I said, the joy and what it is that I get to do is I get to work with unskilled individuals. Even myself, I get to learn every single day. Out of all the training that I've done, being able to grow in this industry and grow in this field with different companies, knowing the different equipment that they want, the different solutions, you'll learn that no matter how skilled you are, that there'll always be somebody that wants something different, but it's up to you to provide it in order to get that job. It's just a part of being independent. It's just a part of the hustle. So, um, the benefits, like I said, I work when I want uh, with communication and superintendents. Um, I get to make my own schedules. I can work as long as I want. I can work as slow as I want. I can work as fast as I want, as long as the job gets done. I get to bring on people that don't have jobs. I get to bring on people that want to be actually become business owners and take advantage of what it is that um, NSU, uh, soon to be known as Come Clean Incorporated, um, is doing, which is, like I said, I'm taking individuals and teaching them independence as a business owner in the post-construction cleaning business. Um, so, um, enough about my story. Um, when you come in and you do a post-construction cleaning, if you've ever looked at any of my videos, if I haven't posted one yet, then I will definitely post one again. Um, when you come in, you want to make sure that you're doing all the tedious work, um, trims, borders, everywhere, dusting from ceiling to floor. All of the everything needs to be done and wiped down. So 
you want to make sure that you have a team that can work accordingly and spend those hours and spend that time to get it done. If your team is good at that and you got four or five people you want to take on this opportunity, I can help you get contracts and get you into a position where you can actually do that. And you can take your team and you guys work according to how you want to work them. But as far as my team, um, we work very hard. Um, we work tediously, tedious hours, long hours to make sure that we can actually uh, complete these projects um, to the best of our abilities while gaining skills and gaining work um, work history behind ourselves. So like I said, these people can also become reputable business owners in the future and I can help them gain contracts down the line. So um, that's the beauty in it. Um, as a business owner on the business owner side, um, putting in those hours behind your team, knowing that at the end of the day, regardless of what you take home, that you're actually making, um, you know what I mean, a couple of grand off of a couple of uh, couple of days. I think we spent about maybe five, six days in between both, between both locations, probably about six or seven days between both locations. So my take home is going to be about 2,500 bucks for um, roughly a week and a half worth of work. Um, I'm going to take a portion of that, obviously make sure my bills and my utilities are paid for the business. Put, pay myself, of course, and then make sure my employees get paid. Most of my employees, my employees as of right now are on 1099s because I'm not going into payroll because the whole point of what it is that I'm doing is teaching independent, individuals independence um, so that they can become business owners, subcontracting. So at the end of the day, I want to make sure that they are actually becoming business owners and learning the process of taking care of their receipts, taking care of their taxes, um, understanding the importance of having their own insurance, making sure that they have open lines of credit to be able to take care of their materials, their travel costs, etc. So learning independence, teaching independence is all what I'm about. And then, like I said, I'm from Los Angeles, so I do believe in, in all of the projects that are going on there, that I will and my company will be a part of those projects, building those projects and helping those individuals that actually need that housing get into those positions that may have not been able to get into them before. So my mission is pretty broad and pretty wide out. And for me to have started so young ago, I know that I have um, a lot of work to do and I'm looking forward to what it is that I do here. If you haven't followed me, please do follow me. If you have any questions, please ask them. If I can answer any questions, I'm happy to. And then if I haven't put a video up, I would definitely do my best to give you more content as I have before in the past. Um, so please understand I'm coming from a completely different place now because I have learned a lot and I have had a lot of experience now and I thank you for actually staying tuned with me thus far. Um, again, uh, there's so much that you can gain in this. I've had people contact me from all over the world that tell me, I want to start my business. What would you say? What would you do? What would you say? What would you do? Um, and the first thing I can give you as a first tip, I can tell you right now, if you're going to go in, then I will start off as a sole proprietor. And then therefore you don't have to pay any money up front. You don't have to worry about yearly costs or anything like that. If, especially if you don't have any employees, I will go off as a sole proprietor, keep it low and go ahead and just get your supplies and start promoting yourself. If you know down the line, if you have the money to invest in a corporation, an incorporation would be smarter. So therefore you do separate yourself from your liabilities. If you have the credit line already and you're in that position in your life financially, where you can make the separation between your assets and your personal assets, then therefore I would go into a corporation. A LLC, I'm not too sure about that. I've heard some ups and downs and some goods and some bads about LLCs. So. I would suggest that you get your own background and your own history as to whether that's something that you should want to do. Coming from me and my perspective and what it is that I'm drawn to, I'm going to suggest that you go for a sole proprietorship because you're going independent and you're not sure if you're going to have employees yet. But I am going to encourage you to do the same thing, to go ahead and start as a sole proprietor, get you a couple of people that want to work, pay them out cash as 1099s. So therefore, you don't have to worry about payroll costs, taxes or anything like that. And you can keep account of all of your your ins, your cash in and your cash out. If that helps at all, like I said, that's only a tip. I'm only going off of based off of just a random question. So I don't know exactly what you need to hear or what it is that's going to help you. But I hope that you comment and that you give me uh, give me you know some type of feedback. If you're someone that's more experienced than I am and you just happen to come across my page, you're more than likely to go ahead and give me a call. I'm available. I work in Los Angeles County, Ventura County, San Bernardino County, San Diego County. We will come to you and we were happy to take on that opportunity if you are willing to let myself and 
and the individuals behind me um, come and work on your projects. If you have the time and you have the heart to say, I want those guys to get the experience. I want these guys to be independent. I want these guys to make a living for themselves and become independent, get the skills that they need, get the, pro get the program up in advance. So therefore, what it is that I'm trying to do can actually build and, and go. So um, I would much ask for the, I would much at, rather ask um, for your support in that aspect looking down now looking up i want to thank you for your attention your time and uh, your participation have a great day stay blessed stay safe and uh, we got a new president y'all <laughs> have a blessed one i mean that peace